ladies and gentlemen, well, baby Trump balloon was stabbed. It was stabbed down in Alabama, you know, in a parade they were having. And the man that stabbed the baby Trump balloon was put in jail. You know, this is what happens in America. You serve more time for stabbing a balloon than killing an actual black man. That happens in America. So this came out in Alabama.com. Uh, Hoy Hutchinson, Alabama baby Trump balloon stabber, calls radio, says it was good versus evil. So this is November 11th, 2019. And they started up a GoFundMe for this guy to help him get out of jail. People poured thousands of dollars in for this guy after he stabbed the baby Trump balloon. So here he is right here. Mm Mm-hmm. You get more jail time in America for stabbing a balloon than you do for killing an unarmed black man. It's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) And this is what I'm showing you. All right, so this Alabama man went out last weekend in Tuscaloosa and he stabbed baby Trump. He was charged with felony first degree criminal mischief in relation to slashing of the baby Trump balloon that was in town for an Alabama game. So, and uh, a presidential appearance by Donald Trump. In his call to the syndicated program, Hutchison, 32 years old, said he drove past the baby Trump balloon on Saturday and yelled at protesters. I got so fired up when I rolled by the balloon and I rolled down the window and I said something to them and I figured they saw me. I figured only a way I was going to get close enough to that balloon was to blend in and that he can do, you know, he can do that. It it is America after all. Um, Okay, so he is saying that's all he needed to do. He, I I think he already knew what he was going to do to this balloon when he rolled up. I was so fired up. I was shaking. I was so mad, he said. When host Rick Burgess asked what his motives for slashing the baby Trump balloon Hutchison replied, I'm not young, but I'm not old. I'm sort of middle-aged. I feel like a lot of people my age don't keep up with the news and politics the way they should. I watch the news every night. I watch Fox News every night. Well, there go your problem right there. Now you know why the dude is crazy. Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity are my favorite two anchors. Now, look, look, he watched Fox News and this man's instinct was to go out and stab the baby Trump balloon. I see this stuff going on out west and up north and all other places. I get so mad about people not taking a stand. The left want to use the religion against you like you shouldn't act like this and stuff. But I'll tell you this, the devil knows the Bible 
as good as we do. He's right about that. Okay. <laughs> He's right about that. This was your turn of the ta the temple tables, Burgess acts in reference to the biblical story of, wow, Yahawashai turning over the tables of the money changers in the temple. Hutchinson replied, well, he tried to say yes, but there's no comparison to what this dude did in that biblical story come on that this is not an equivalence at all read that story it has nothing to do with some man slashing some baby trump balloon and it doesn't compare either these people are kind of delusional in this point they're making okay so yes hutchison replied it comes to the point when you got to take a stand we don't have two parties anymore we have good versus evil when you got one party that says it's okay to kill babies, and by the way, this is the first time I'm ever seeing a, a liberal get mad about chopping up a baby. Later in the interview, Hutchison said the protesters were chanting, lock him up, in reference to the president. I walked by and said, Lock this up, he replied. Hutchison said he used a material cutter with a sharp razor to slice the 20 foot tall balloon, he said. He yelled Trump 2020 as he was arrested. <laughs> he was released on a $2,500 bond. The Trump balloon was brought to the game as a result of a fundraising effort that netted almost $8,000. After the balloon was popped, a GoFundMe page was established by Hutchison. As of Monday morning, the page collected under $40,000 from 1,700 donors. Originally, Hutchison wrote that all proceeds not needed for legal fees would be donated to the Trump 2020 campaign. In a Monday update, however, he wrote that the page had been reported to GoFundMe and all donations will likely be refunded. So somebody somebody reported the fundraiser and don't look like he's going to be getting that money. Apologize for all of the convenience, folks. Thanks for all the kind words, prayers, and financial support. Reach out to Hoy on Facebook. We love hearing from fellow patriots. Yeah, okay. Hashtag Trump 2020, he wrote. <laughs> so, wow. Mm-mm-mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, look like Ohoy here was able to raise all those funds for slashing a balloon. And like I said, he got more prison time for slashing a balloon than any of these cops get for shooting unarmed black people. You get more time if you walk up and slash that baby Trump balloon. You get arrested immediately. You get charged and you you get a set bail. Kill a black man, you don't have to worry about none of that. All that's bypassed. Mm-hmm. So I guess that balloon was such a threat that he had to get out and slash this balloon. Y'all tell me what you think. You know, you get in more trouble in America for slashing a balloon than killing a person. Only in America. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.